Hi, this is Kevin with Daystar Charters, and today I'm going to show you the three things to check if you have low water pressure or no water pressure in your Yamaha outboard. Okay, so we're going to tell you about the three things to check. It doesn't have to be Yamaha, it could be any, any outboard. But uh, the first thing you're going to do if you've got low water pressure, what I was having is I had plenty of water pressure if I was 1,000 RPMs or higher, I was good. Uh, I just couldn't go down to a dead aisle. If I went down to a dead aisle for more than three minutes, my alarm would go off and my motor wasn't peeing. Uh, so that's a problem that I was having. And so I'm going to show you the three things you can check. First thing is, is change out your water pump. Okay. I'm not going to tell you how to do everything. I'm just going to tell you, tell you what to check. But your water pump's located up inside this gear case. It just comes off with five or six bolts. That whole thing will slide down. Your water pump's right there. Uh, you see this plate? This plate is really scored bad. When this plate gets scored bad, it's going to reduce, reduce your water pressure. So if it's gotten this bad, I would definitely change it out. Because you And here's the gasket that comes with it. You could just change out the impeller if it, don't, if it hasn't been very long. But if, if you get in there and you find that uh, this plate is all scarred up, then you, then you need to replace that. The, the whole thing, the plate, the gasket, the impeller, everything. Secondly, if this impeller gets like this, it's got a memory, then it's going to be low water pressure. These things stick straight out when it's first put in. They, they're straight out, all of them. So when it gets bent like that and it has a memory like that, it's, it, it's time to replace it. Well, I decide to do every time, I just do everything. I just do the wear plate, the gasket, the impeller, everything. This is like 90 bucks for mine. I have a 115 Yamaha four stroke and mine's a 2016, 115 horsepower Yamaha four stroke, but it's the same deal with, with any of them. But this, for me, it was 90 bucks for this kit on Amazon and, I, and uh, the impeller came with it. And then I bought this, this is your housing for your water pump. I bought one of these, uh, decided to do this anyway, just in case, came in this box right here. But uh, this is your housing. This is what goes on top of your, you got your plate, your, your gasket, and your impeller, and then this slides over the top and bolts on. Um, again, if, if this is a little bit grooved also, you might want to replace it. Now, don't do like I did and go ahead and replace it without getting those rubber grommets. Now, I've already got the rubber grommet out of there, but it took me a long time to figure out what, what I did wrong. But that rubber, there's a rubber grommet that goes in there. Well, it stayed in this old one, and we set it on the bench, put the new one on, and slapped it together, and it wasn't pumping water like it should. And come to find out, we pulled the gear case back off. We forgot to take the rubber grommet out of here and put it into, into the new cover. So that's your cover. So you're supposed to do water pumps, uh, or at least the impeller, every 100 hours. But I have had 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 them on three and 400 hours. But uh, by the time it hits 300 hours, it's, it's bad. So really, if, if, if you can, just do it every 100 hours. Now, the next thing is, if you're still not cooling like you should, or you're not peeing, or uh, water, the boat's not peeing, or whatever, this is called your thermostat, okay? It's very easy. It just pops out and pops in. I'm gonna show you where it's located on this motor. There's two bolts on a cover, and you just pop the cover off, and you just pull this out of the hole it's in, and you shove the new one in. This thermostat heats up and it opens and opens and closes as it gets hotter or colder and either lets more water in or or uh, keeps more water out. But um, this should probably be done every couple hundred hours. I, I've ran them in there 400 hours, 800 hours, but then if it messes up, then you're kind of kind of stuck if you're out on the water. So this is a very easy thing easy thing to replace. This for me was like 50 bucks. Okay, now on this Yamaha 115. Here's your thermostat. This is your thermostat cover. There's just two bolts. Like I said, it pops off, and then you just change out your thermostat. Uh, I only have one thermostat on this motor. I've had 225, 250 horsepower motors, and they have two thermostats. So uh, you'll just have to find out how many you have for your motor and just replace them all. But this is, this is where it's located on this motor. I'm on the uh, starboard side near the top, and uh, this is where this one's located, but they could be anywhere on your particular engine. Now the third thing you want to check or replace every now and then is this poppet valve. It's called a water control valve. 
and uh, it's just a spring and it's a gasket and it's the uh, the piece on the end it, it goes in there like that or it might have a little half moon shaped little rubber thing but basically when you take it out of your motor you pull out this rubber gasket and you're going to pull this stuff out and then to put it back in you just put your little rubber gasket back in and then you put this this on there like i said it might be a little half moon piece it might not be this sticking out you shove that on there or this way as, as it go, goes actually and uh that's it you put your cover back on it pushes the spring in the same deal as the thermostat you got a spring that heats up and uh contracts or expands it cools down it, it lets water in and out of that little water control valve and i'll show you where that was located on this motor now on this motor we were looking high and low we were all around here we were on top taking off the other side the back the we we're looking all over and to come to find out it was down here under this cowling here it is right here two three bolts that's where it's at so uh just pull off those three bolts pop that cap off and then you're going to go ahead and uh, put in your rubber grommet and then your your valve and then your your spring you're going to put that back on and that's how easy that that is to replace but on this 2016 yamaha it was hiding down here and uh finally we got a wire we got a, a diagram of the boat parts and we found out where it was and we got in here and knocked it out so those are the three things that you want to check it has to be one of those uh, I talked to my mechanic down here in Naples at Brookside Marina and he said it's got to be one of those and Andy it was one of one of those so uh, that's what you want to check and you'll have to watch it a different videos for somebody else on how to do the water pump because I'm not going to tear this thing back apart but uh, these videos have helped us a lot over the years we just want to give back and help some other people if you want to like the video hit the like button and if you want to subscribe we will have more videos coming out this is Kevin with Daystar Charters.